Hello my lovelies and you join me outside on what is an absolutely fabulous summer's day and I've received a little present. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Warm as you like as well. Let's have a look, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. God help us, it's uh, it's sweltering in here. Right, okay. Let's have a little play with this little gift. So, that goes in there. Oh, there we go. Right, so I presume that should be active now. So, if I... Have a look on my phone. Right, let's have a look. No, no sign of anything there, is there? Oh, other devices we want, don't we? Okay, maybe I'll put the cart before the horse there. Let's try plugging this back in. Right, showing red. What does that mean? Plug the audio cable into your phone. Well, there isn't an audio cable. Ah, turn on the device. Okay, how? How do I turn on the device? Press this. No. Nothing. Not a sausage. Right, I'm confused. Okay, apparently I need to charge it for a while. You can't use it while it's charging, and then you... Okay, right, well I think I've figured out how to turn it on. Let's... I'll charge it up in a minute. Let's just whiz it out to the car again, and see if we can turn it on when it's in the car. Okay, we'll try again. So, that goes in there. Right, now let's try holding this button for three seconds. One, two, oh, there we go. There we go, it's flashing, look. The flashing nub. Right, ah, and now we've got so, connect. And we are connected. Right, so, I should be able to play stuff now. Let's try it. Yeah, it's, wor it's working. Fantastic. Well, that's brill. What a fabulous little little gadget. Um, thank you so much. You know who you are and you didn't want to be mentioned, but thank you. That is absolutely um, brilliant. Um, yeah, so it's a thing. You can retain your original stereo, uh, but you can have Bluetooth connectivity. It's a really handy, useful bodge. Um, and yeah, might be of use to some of you. There you go. That's what it is, and I can confirm that it works. I'm going to put a full charge in it, and um, yeah, and then it's going to be, well, it's going to live in the Honourable Sheeson. Right, my lovely, it's time to start thinking about lunch. Well, I've been thinking about lunch since I got up. It's time to start doing something about lunch. 
And if you remember, if you were watching yesterday's video, uh, we've got ham that needs eating today. So I'm going to do ham and eggs with some fried potatoes. So first thing, we've got our big old chow mein pan. Let's get some water in it. There we go, it's a bit heavy. That's the pan filled with some moist water. I'll turn my chopping board over so I don't have to bother cleaning it because I'm such a dirty party. Got some baby potatoes, I'm giving them a wash. We'll take a knife. Where are you? There you are. And we will We'll cut these into, well, that one can go in half. That one can go in half. That one can go in half. This one into thirds. Oh, what do you reckon? Is that enough? Should we have one more for luck? Let's have one more for luck. Here we go. Right, and we'll pop these into the moist water. And then that's a big old open pan. So I'm gonna put it onto the maximum, come on, there you go, onto the maximum heat setting. And <clears throat> I'm going to bring those to a, a rolling boil and let them cook for a while. So. While that's happening, I'm going to go off and do some washing up. There we go, boiling away nicely now. And we can just leave them safely to do their own thing for a little while. Oh, yes. Well, I'm not being lazy today, darlings. I've been outside giving Shison a bit of a, a wash and spruce up in this beautiful weather. Come back to have a look at these and... They are almost ready to go on to the next stage. Okay, darlings, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is turn the heat down a bit, lose a bit of the water. There we go, and some of the water gone. I'm going to add some good olive oil. I'm going to, well, I'm going to get these out of the way. Season it. Plenty of Percy pepper. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to add some chat masala. There we go. Fantastic. And then the potatoes will just steam away the water. They'll infuse the um, the seasoning and the chat masala. And then as the water dissipates, they'll begin the actual frying process. Let's get the ham out of the fridge. Next thing is get the eggs ready. And I've got nice free range eggs, white ones. And what I'm gonna do, crack the egg, and then I'm gonna separate the yolk. You don't need anything fancy, just your fingers will do. There we go, that's one. Two. Don't be afraid to handle food. That's what the FSM gave you hands for. And three. We'll get rid of the shells. Right, 
rinse our hands off. There. So those are ready for the pan. Okay, so you can see that the the water is beginning to boil away. Make sure the potatoes are getting a nice coating. Fantastic, smells good. And the water will soon be gone. And these will just fry themselves off. Fabulous. Here's the last bit of the ham and as you can see, has to be eaten today. Okay, now, these are actually frying now. The water's all gone. So, we need to keep them moving in the pan. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Really nice. Really nice. A lot of mustard. Right, we'll um, we'll take some kitchen towel and just rest and drain the potatoes on there. Oh, they look fabulous. Oh, that one tried to escape. Come back here, you little swine. Come on. And then we'll get our eggs. And we will. Oh, balls, I've broken one. Oh. Bound to happen when you're filming, isn't it? And there you go, darlings. Ham and eggs. Steam fried potatoes, mustard. Job done. Look, darlings, I've almost cleaned a wheel. Oh, what a glorious day. Okay, time to go to work, darlings. I'm going to be playing with my new Bluetooth thingy, so I shall spare you the journey. Right then, darlings. Time to go home. See you tomorrow, Prem. Night, Ram. I need tip it for my bunghole! That has gone down by an estimated 99.5%, back to less than 4 million the last, the last years that we've got data. So there is a need for them in Patrick. Oh, look at that moon! Coverage, where there might be accidents, or That's a full of moon or totally near to it. The bad reason, and the reason why there are so many that that need to be required, is that actually they're rather nice and very depressed who want to take their own lives. The point that Elora makes about safeguards is going to stand down to be re-elected. At least nine more Democrats have today called for him to do so. Mr. Biden has been recovering from COVID-19 at his home in Delaware. The Home Secretary has said that those behind the violence in Leeds last night will face the full force of the law. He had visited the head of the city where five people were arrested. His order broke out as police responded to a child protection issue. The former Liberal Democrat leader Joe Swinson has told the Horizon IT inquiry the former post office boss Paul Venos said something to the effect that some set postmasters had their fingers in the till. Hundreds were wrongly prosecuted when the 40th Virginia.
Swinton system made it look like money was missing at their branches. But Swinton, who was Postal Affairs Minister between 2012 and 2015, said she remembers asking Ms. Venwell's questions about the system on several occasions. The Bangladeshi government says it is imposing a nationwide curfew and upon the military to keep order after days of protests in which dozens of people have been killed. The spokesman for the Prime Minister said the decision was taken after a meeting of the parties in the governing alliance. Protesters want the authorities to scrap a quota system for government jobs. BBC News. I'm Catherine Bohart and I'm bringing you a brand new Friday night comedy here on Radio 4. Each week on TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read, I'll be unpacking one big news story so you don't have to. You don't have time for everything, you're busy. I'll be joined by experts and journalists to help get to the bottom of an overwhelming news story so that you have more time for that yoga class you've been meaning to try. Trust me, the news is just high-profile gossip. So settle in, because I have a lot to tell you. Join me for Catherine Bohart, TLDR. Starting next Friday night at 6.30 on Radio 4 and BBC Sounds. And now with insights from across the US, it's time for America. <laughs> presented by Sarah Smith, Justin Webb and Anthony Zerka. There's no question about it, this week has seen a really important moment in American history because uh, Donald Trump has spoken to his party convention and that happens whenever someone is nominated and accepts the nomination for the presidency. But my goodness, he did it in the most extraordinary circumstances, unique circumstances actually, because of the simple fact that there had been an assassination attempt on him just days before he was due to be there in Wisconsin and to accept the adulation of his party. So that coloured the whole event and there's no question in my mind as well that it coloured the speech. There was blood pouring everywhere and yet in a certain way I felt very safe because I had God on my side. I felt an occasion that has real implications for the race now between him and whoever is against him and I say that because of course we don't know who is against him at the moment Joe Biden is president and has been at least until this week expected to be the nominee and to be the candidate to be president next time around but all of that is also up in the air and up in the air in a way that suggests that something is going on and that he may well himself soon be out so when i say it's momentous and extraordinary and use all these words i think it is reasonable this time uh, to say that so just after the speech we recorded an edition of americas where i think it is fair to say we actually rather disagreed about what we thought we had just heard but done so in a manner that I hope uh, allows you to make up your own mind. I should also say, of course, that during the course of this whole week, we've been recording uh, episodes of AmeriCast every day, and all of those episodes are available on BBC Sounds. So, here is the episode of AmeriCast that we recorded within moments, actually, of Donald Trump sitting down. AmeriCast. AmeriCast from BBC News. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. I'm not running for sainthood here. I'm running for president. I did everything right and they indicted me. I can chew and walk gum at the same time. There is no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity. We will fight the woke in education. We will fight the woke in the businesses. We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Nobody should have to go to jail for smoking weed. Right? Aren't you guys tired of covering this? Hello, it's just.
Austin in the worldwide headquarters of America Austin, London, England. Hello, it's Sarah Smith here in Milwaukee at the Republican National Convention right in the auditorium. And hi, it's Anthony right next to Sarah at the auditorium where Donald Trump has just finished his acceptance speech. Okay, there's a timing issue right at the beginning of this, guys, because we are literally minutes away from the start of the Today program, the program I present here in London, uh, and I know that I'm doing the headlines today, so basically if we go on and on for too long, or if I do, uh, I'll miss the headlines and I'll lose my job. So um, there's a lot of tension in this room. But so you'll need to keep it brief, Justin. I'll need to keep it brief, which everyone will be relieved by. Um, I tell you what, just, just to kick off a thought, hats off to Chris Lasavita, who is this Republican political political operative. I first came across him many years ago. He was the media advisor to the Swift Boats campaign. I don't know if you remember this. Okay, darlings, nearly home. It's quarter past 11. And that's about it for today. Thank you for your company, as always. It really wouldn't be the same without you. And I wish you all a safe and peaceful night and a great day ahead. Let's get out of the way of that car coming up here. There we go. Take really good care of yourselves, my lovelies, and hope you all have the most fabulous of weekends. Much love from me, and I will catch you next time. Pachu, and indeed, bosh.